Your Storm Shield forecast, only on Fox 47 News. Justin, what another beautiful day today. I'm no totally doubt. fine with the weather staying like this. <laughs> Question is, is it going to? Well, at least for the next several days, more of the same. Rinse and repeat. <laughs> Looking forward to it, Gianni. Going to have some beautiful weather. We're even talking some 70s by the time we get towards the weekend. Now, 67, still pretty good for this time of year. A little bit above normal. That's what the temperature is outside the Fox 47 studios right now in Lansing on I-496. Now, those temperatures ranging from about 64, 65 degrees all the way up as high as 68 towards Battle Creek. But again, all above average for this time of year. Average high being around 64 today. And we do see warmer temps even still out towards the west. Now, we won't see the heat like there is out in the plains where we've got mid to upper 80s, but we will see some 70s like Chicago at 74. Could see numbers approaching that by the time we get to around Saturday and later on this weekend. Now this evening, very comfortable one. It's going to be re relatively calm. Winds do pick up as it becomes breezy tomorrow, but this evening not much to worry about until overnight. Just a few clouds passing through, but you'll notice overnight lows only dipping into the mid 50s tonight. Some folks even staying in the upper 50s, so we stay mild. This again, close to about 10 degrees above the average low for this time of year and all the rain activity continues to stay to the north. Uh, Lake Superior in the UP parts of northern lower Michigan going to have that rain tonight. But again, dry weather continues out towards the plains, so we stay dry for several more days, but Hurricane Delta certainly is not dry and it is strengthened into a strong category four hurricane approaching the Yucatan Peninsula down there in Mexico. And that's going to ride through, make landfall likely late tonight, tomorrow morning, and then it'll move out over the Gulf where it will re strengthen. We'll show you that here in our future track for the hurricane region. You see down here by the time we get to tomorrow early morning that comes through. But as we push into the later part of the afternoon and later into the day, especially that's where we'll start to see this thing re strengthen as it comes out over over the Gulf waters and that right now looks like it's going to make some sort of landfall in the United States. We're just going to keep our fingers crossed that it'll weaken a little bit before it does so minimize those impacts. Now the future track around here are going to be relatively quiet over the next several days. That shower chance north is going to pass through overnight and then as we head into the afternoon tomorrow, we break out more sunshine. Gets a little bit breezy at times, but overall going to have a beautiful forecast carrying not only through our Wednesday, but also into our Thursday all throughout the day. Just a few clouds Thursday, but otherwise mostly sunny. And the temperatures again going to be very comfortable, especially for this time of year. We're into the 50s tonight, but tomorrow will warm back up. Some folks, maybe especially south, we're talking Hillsdale, Marshall, etc. Cold water getting near 70 degrees, maybe even Jackson. Most other folks going to stay in those upper 60s, which is still pretty nice. We'll have all the sun to deal with, and we are down to the mid 40s overnight for our Wednesday night, but then we'll warm up back in the 60s on Thursday too. So the Wednesday planner looks pretty nice. More sunshine as you saw. Again, we're going to continue to see the clearing, especially in the afternoon. We can call about 68 degrees or so the high. It will get a little bit breezy, but it becomes sunny and overall going to be an excellent day for our Wednesday. The next three are going to look good. 65 Thursday, one of the coolest days of the next seven. By Friday, we could even be into the 70s and then we'll continue to ride that into the weekend Saturday, possibly as high as 74 more sun and we get into the tail end of the weekend and early next week. That's when we could start to see the remnants of Delta come further north. So we'll throw a few showers into the forecast. We could get more or less rain all depending on what happens with the hurricane down south. But what is looking pretty certain for us no matter what in the long range outlook through the middle of the month, those above average temperatures we've been preaching about look like they're going to stick around.